Today's video is going to be about Ali Shabanov, um, a wrestler from Belarus. Um, he started off wrestling in 2011 at the 66 kilogram weight class, and throughout the years he has moved to 70 kilogram, 74, 79, and now 86. Um, however, today we're going to be going over just his throw by, and when it comes to his throw by, I have clips of him using it at the 70 kilogram through 86 kilogram weight class. That's 154 pounds through 190 pounds. So that's pretty cool because we'll see a wide range. As you can see from here, there's multiple different holes he likes to use. The main two is the underhook and the collar tie, as well as the over-under position. He can also do this move with just the underhook, so I'm going to go through those as well. The first few clips I'm going to show are five examples from the drop throw-by of him you having the underhook and the collar tie. So he punches the underhook. Let me slow it down. Has the underhook. Right hand has the collar tie. Always pay attention to his left foot because it's the same side because he uses the left underhook. He's going to step out with it and then he's going to drop to his knee. Same exact thing. Nine times out of ten, he's going to step out with that left foot first. But he has a left a lefty underhook, head position always opposite side. Um, right hand has a collar tie. That left foot is going to step out. And then he drops to his knee. He turns about 90 degrees, about 90 to 100 degrees that he turns um, to create that torque. On this example, he actually keeps the collar tie. Um, I, I like this example because a lot of the people who watch this channel um, focus mainly on folk style. So it just shows you that you can get back points from this kind of move. But I would typically consider a two-point takedown kind of move. Or if you're in college, three points now. Notice that he steps out. Sudden drop to his knee, that's what creates that sudden force. Again, punches the underhook. He's going to step out with the left foot. As you can see, he has that collar tie. Last example with this. It's a pretty basic move that you really don't see too many guys do, especially high school guys. The drop throw by is a really, really good move. Next, we're going to show him using it from the over-under position. He does it against, against a lot of big names, Jordan Burroughs, Hassan Yazdani, so let's get right into it. First example we're going to show is him doing it against Jordan Burroughs at 2017 World Championships. As you can see here, over-under position, he punches the underhook. He's going to still step out with that left foot just like before. Drops his knee. Turn about 100 degrees. This is against Hassan Yazdani at 74 kilograms in 2016, the year that um, Yazdani won his Olympic title. So Yazdani punches his underhook. They get in an over under position. And gets a two point takedown. This is uh, Abduk Ramanov, um, two time Olympic bronze medalist. This is in the bronze medal match in 2017. Same thing from the over-under position. Now, I really like this clip right here because this is a position that people find themselves in a lot. Off of their double leg, off their opponent's double leg, they end up in the over-under position. And as his opponent's building up, he's going to step out with the left foot. And he actually took him feet to back on when it comes to freestyle. But he kept that overhook instead of letting it go. This one, he's facing a Russian wrestler. I don't know who because the title on YouTube is in Russian. So it has it. Same thing. Left foot's gonna step out. I mean, dude's face planted right into the mat. Last example here. He's pretty consistent with how he does it. Now, in this example, pay attention to his feet. So his right foot is gonna step in first, and then his left foot is gonna step out. And then he does it. So I guess if you have a really wide base, then uh, it may be smarter for you to step in your right foot as well or your opposite side foot. Uh, two examples of him, of him doing it only with the underhook. I like this example a lot. This is at 70 kilograms. He did it in the rear standing right into a suplex. This example here, he has the underhook, but his opponent has to call it time, not him. So he only has the underhook. 
It's, a, it's the same exact motion. Next, we're going to show a few failure tests of him doing the move. The reason I want to show this is to show it's really a low risk move. Um, it's not. To, I haven't seen any clips of his opponent re-attacking off of a failed attempt. So it's if I can attack and not worry about or have a really low chance of my opponent re-attacking, that's a move I really want to get good at. So let's get right into it. On the hook, call a tie. Goes for the move. Misses it. No problem. Same thing. This one, he just pops right back up. Like nothing ever happened. Next two examples, bronze medal match at the 2013 or 14 World Championships. Try this from the over-under position. Doesn't get it. No worries. Ends up there again. Tries it again. No worries. So it's a really good move. I love this move. Um, don't really see it too much at the collegiate level as well as the, um, definitely at not the high school level. Um, the main drop throw by I've seen at the collegiate level was Isaiah Martinez versus Jason Nolf, um, in the 2016 NCAA finals. And that was beautiful. So, um, practice this move. It's a great move to learn. And I'll see you guys in the next video.